Can you believe that? Okay. Ridiculous. Nothing. I'm not doing it. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Botany and Board. I am Bailey. And I'm Wyatt. Well, I always do that. Okay. This we'll is Luna, everybody. She's like, he didn't let me talk. He didn't even Look let at that you look. go. She's like, he didn't. He, He's like, Mom, did you hear that? He interrupted it was, me. It was my turn. He didn't do Poor it. Poor thing. I know. It's sad. Distraction. Okay. Are you distracted? I f yeah. <laughs> that was something. She's just like leading on me. <laughs> oh, the killer phase. <laughs> After countless practice, I spent nights like jingle, 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 jingle. That's the sound of dice. And then, and it was like perfect success. And I. This is Loon. I'm Wyatt. <laughs> and today we have another two uh, solo player mm -hmm. duo. Yeah, it's a like, final girl for you all. We're like cooperating in a which we don't solo do game. often. Yeah, I don't <laughs> even know that we're cooperating right now. We'll see how the game plays out. <laughs> yeah, so we have for you guys today the Intruder. So this is mm -hmm. at Win mm -hmm. Wingard at Cottage. Wind yeah. What, is that how you pronounce it? Mm hmm Wingard. 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 Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what the horror film is that this is exactly based on. So if you know that, let me know in the comments, because I would be interested to know. I do like horror mm -hmm. films myself, uh, but I don't exactly know the what they're going for. So, for the scenario, though, yeah. do you want to give a brief synopsis? I'm going to give a synopsis, because I've, I've read this before, and Loon... Do not lick my arm. <laughs> I've read this before, and it takes a lot out of me just to read it. It's a very lengthy thing. So go yeah. ahead and hand me the book. I will give a quick overview of that. Loon, don't lick the table. You shouldn't have to tell animals this, but like my arm, the table, apparently it's all fair game. So quickly, uh, the intruders. Long story short is the main... I'm going to call it main villain. Her name is Trish. The main bitch. <laughs> the, the main bitch. Okay. Um, yeah. So she has this kind of like woe is me story. And her dad was like this like crazy guy who was abusive in many forms, uh, according to the read up. Uh, he ends up hanging himself and she like delights at the sight of it and decides like she's going to help guide lost souls um to their death uh because she finds death beautiful uh so and she says hallelujah a lot but anyway <laughs> but, hallelujah <laughs> um and so then the next one is baghead and i'll show the let me switch the camera real quick we'll go to the, so she is the center one holding the axe don't like my arm and Baghead, oh, well, yeah, you could do that. Well, let me show my pictures first. Because my, oh, there's Trish. Yep. And this is Baghead. It seems obvious, but just in case it's not. And then the last one was Zeke. Zeke. That's right. Okay. So Baghead is like this guy. Kind of, Imagine the Goonies guy. He's like a really, really strong, ogreish sort of dude who they've locked in a room for a long, long time because he. He did like the mice of mice and men book where he uh, found something small and that was little and you didn't want to let it go and it happened to be a little girl and he crushed her to death. Um, so anyway, she frees him was from. Was that in the reader? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's and these are really really long. Like if you think I'm taking a long time explaining it, I mean this is a dense reading. <laughs> anyway, so then Zeke uh, Zeke was going and he has this like love for killing things like he finds the beauty in like watching life leave a body um so he like kills little animals classic serial killer uh situation but he like kills animals and the family's like always punishing him for it I, and then he killed the neighbor's dog and he has elfin ears 
Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think... Oh, and he's... Is he the really religious one? I think that, that sounds right. I think he might be. But he, like, says weird things. Like, here's one line where he said, He wished he could feel the inside of other people's bodies. He wished he could peel back the layer of their skin, their flesh, and see what they were like inside. Long story short, uh, short is that Trish goes through and she finds these two individuals and she's like, you're going to help me Come take. Me. Yeah, exactly. She's like, let's get these guys all together and we're going to be the people who help people find death. And then she says, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyway. So that is the story of the intruders at Wingard Cottage, the abridged version. <laughs> Absolutely. So. That was beautiful. Thank you for that. You're welcome. We are playing Ava today, you guys. And so, Ava, I am actually interested in getting to her final power. Because mm -hmm. after I rescue five victims here, uh, you will see her ultimate ability, which I might actually take versus getting a ultimate die. Uh, when making a horror roll, you may re-roll all one results. So to me, that's just huge. And yeah. then also for she each cool additional skill. victim saved, you get to uh, recover a horror. So okay, pretty excited to save five victims. The interesting things about the intruders. On the map, first off. Oh, you want to go to the map? Okay. Yes. On the map, on the map, on the map. So we have a few of the supplies that are labeled out here. Uh, and I can pick them up. For one time so i have discarded tools rope wood and nails and there's like one of each except of, for i think wood had two there's two yes two there's two of the wood mm -hmm. yeah so uh the garage is where i can get the discarded tools up here i can get the nails and then i can get the wood and either of these two large things and then in the boathouse is where i get the rope okay so if i want to craft an item so that is the interesting thing about the or Windgird Cottage, actually, is the crafted item. So you can pick up all these things, and then you can discard them. So, for instance, I'll just show you the one that I've had my eye on as I was setting things up. So the snare. You'll see we have the snare. Okay, so it says that I have to discard mm -hmm. the rope, the wood, in one time, and then I can craft the snare. Okay, cool. So it's going to have three uses there, and then I get to place a snare token on my space during the action phase for a time. Mm -hmm. And then any enemy, enemy that it would enter that, then I can they can no longer move, which would be pretty cool. So I was like, Sounds I feel cool. like I like the snare. So anyway, so I can go around and get a, wood, get a rope, cost me a time, get a wood, cost me a time, and then later I can use that rope, that wood, in one additional time and craft this snare, which will give me three so uses you can to put it down. set it up. She does like a slow hover I down was... where the camera has to think the whole time. Yeah. You know. Curse flat. <laughs> um, okay. Are we ready to play? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. You're like. You got three killers. They have uh, like six health each and a black heart token. So we don't know what's underneath. And let's get going. All right. We always start with an event. Mm -hmm. So first off for the setup as well. So we are in dysfunctional family. Okay. That is our setup. So everyone is alone. There's no victim together in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Killers are all out here at the ready. I am down here on the porch. Uh, and I have entered battle ready. So yeah. in order on during my setup, I got to actually take the discarded item cards. Mm -hmm which were not used during setup, and I got to flip them over one by one and get a tool. Cool. So I have actually started with this eighth of an inch. I can hold it up. Chisel. Okay. Yeah, so I have, it has an attack of one extra, cost me one hand to use, and a range of zero. And then, however, afterwards, I have to roll a die if I use it. One to four, it's going to be discarded. So chances are I don't have it for long, but it might get me an extra hit, and I didn't have to go search for it. So All I right. will take it. All right, so first up. It's in hand, right? I'll, yes, it is. Yep, I put it in my hand, my right okay. hand. I guess so. Um, okay, <laughs> so the killers are all started with six I health. We have not, yeah, three. We're ready to go. We have three Let's get this party start. started. However, I would like to have a little bit. She needs to focus. I need more. I agree more with this. Focus. This is a good choice. <laughs> okay, that was, I'm going to. I am going to discard two cards. All right, so yep. I'm going to turn in two cards. So please move the whore down from my one and lose the time. 
Down meaning up? Three to no. four? No, down meaning down. Down meaning I... I oh, just... you got two? I didn't see what you rolled. I can't see it from my angle. I got... I traded in two cards. So mm -hmm. I converted it to a success. Therefore, I lose a horror. Okay. And I go down one So time. if you lose a horror, shouldn't you go to four? It's in four the, a bad... Horror decreases by one. This oh, is this good. is a good card. I'm trying to help. I'm yeah. I'm I'm actively doing this thing. Look, okay, I thought you were doing this little time thing to the side. Okay, well now we know. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna focus again. Okay, better this time. Okay, got one. So I will take decrease. <laughs> Thank you. By so one you started at three. In decrease time, you're not doing very well at my. So we switch roles. So normally why you just get to play I'm usually the person I have who to rolls. be the <laughs> And I've learned my skill very, you know, like after countless practice. I spent nights like jingle 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 jingle. That's the sound of dice. And then and it was like perfect success. And I spent like and then she's like, You wanna switch roles? No. I wanted to play. She wanted to play. I wanna be a final girl. Okay. okay. She's gonna be the final girl. So you you have to do both pieces. Alright, so I'm in the three dice zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. So, now I have a couple walks, so I'm going to go ahead and try to walk. Okay. As well. My three die, moving in, save a victim right off the get-go. Whoops. Oh, that doesn't count if it didn't go in the box. All right. What was your one? I can't see. One success. Okay. Okay. So, one success, so I get to move one space and down one time. Okay. So, I will go ahead and move... Once, uh, let's see, which way do I want to go? I think I'm going to go into the foyer and try to get through here, go through the garage, and just go safely through the driveway. Okay. So what I shall do? So I'll try to walk again. All right, so hopefully I get a success because I don't have any cards to help me if I do not. Oops. Two successes. Two successes. Perfect. All right, so I get to move up to two spaces. So I will do... Um, hmm, I'm actually wondering now if I should, I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to, I'm just, I felt for this little yellow person here. Luna. Luna, she was like, gee, why did you do that? Yeah, she's like... <laughs> but I, I could have went one, two, and worked harder on getting these victims, but this one was so close to being demolished by these people, I decided to waste my time and go get them. Okay. okay. So, I only have two... No subs. Two time to purchase. All right. So, I'm going to get a no sprint, subs. and that will be it. Okay. Okay. That so sounds great. Turn my cards to the action pile. Okay, so now you're you purchased, you returned your cards. This goes back up to six. Yep. And you're at the killer phase. Okay, so all killers are actually going to. You want to zoom in one? Sure. Uh, so all killers are going to uh, target mm -hmm. either me or. Uh, a victim, whichever is closest, and attack. So currently they're with no one, so they will not attack. So we go next to their second part of their phase, which is a tarot card. So their first tarot card. We were passing by and thought we heard a scream. So place two new victims at the porch. Oh, sorry. You couldn't see that, could you? There we go. Um, two new victims at the porch. That's mm -hmm. perfect right for me. Save them. Okay, and then horror goes up. By one, darn it, I gotta lose one of my dice. Okay. And then we get an event. All right. Marked for death. Uh, why did you let him into our home? Place the outsider in the bathroom. Okay. Whenever the killer must choose a target, the outsider is chosen instead. Mm -hmm. On its way towards the outsider, the killer kills one victim in each space it moves through including its starting and ending spaces. Well, that was very lucky that I moved that person out of the bedroom in this regard because they were in the path. Mm. They're going to go through that bedroom. To Doesn't that. feel lucky for anybody in these rooms. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Marked I saved them. I moved them out. 
Okay, so we have now done the killer phase, so now okay. we're going to upkeep. Uh, what about panic phase? Panic. No one was killed, so yep. that's what would have been upkeep, reveal. Uh, reveal, is it finale? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Yep, only the finale comes out if we're out of tarot cards. What's the finale? Oh, this. that? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. so and rearrange items. Okay, so we're back at the number one. All right, so I only have one action card, so this will be a quick action card round. So I only Perfect. have two die again, unfortunately, so hopefully these are good. Okay, one. One success, which Take says that. you can move up to two spaces and lose a time. Okay, so I am going to go one, two. And knock over knock all over the everybody. people. In the garage, I was like, Hammering, I was like drugging three people with me, and then I just clocked the guy. And I think she means dragging, but she said drugging. <laughs> I meant and like, I don't think she meant drugging them like normally people would say, like, no, you got like drugged. Dragging. Like, she meant like, but past I, tense of drug. No, like, <laughs> if you them. drug someone, like, you know, like, I'm yes. picturing, yes, yeah, okay, yeah. not admit, like, not like pills. I'm drug. drugging people yeah. all the time, drugging them around the house. Okay, we're all in the garage together, okay. Here we are. Nice. All right. So I have only taken one time so far. I and can go ahead and spend one time in the garage to mm -hmm. get the discarded tools. Was that you one of the could. things that was the obliterator needs the discarded tools? Otherwise, no. So I'm not going to get the discarded tools. I'm just going to hang out. And instead, I'm going to go ahead and spend my five time okay. to pick up some of so Sounds good. Stuff. Okay. So I will get another sprint All right. for two. And then I have three more, and I think I'm going to go ahead and get a, let's get a distraction and just get my, get the horror down the a little bit. That was worth three. Oh. And then I'll take all of these okay. back. Okay. And then this right. goes back to the tableau. So you purchase uh, your action cards. We're going to reset to six. Um, you put... What happened? Oh, you just put it I back. just got them. Yep. And I put... Okay. Killer phase. All right, so they, again, are still, luckily, not with anybody. Okay. But now, there's blood everywhere. Okay, so first off in this, we have the killer, the active killer meeple is going to move down one. So Trish is now passing the book to Baghead. Okay. All right, so Baghead uh, then is going to target uh, myself or a victim, but in this case... <laughs> Whenever the chooses a target, they're always going to pick the outsider because he's been marked for death. Okay. So he's going to now move. So he has a... Oh, this was a zero. Oh. Um, so he has a movement of one. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he will go one space toward... Is this a hallway? I don't... Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, because these both go in two hallways. Like one long hallway that has two. Or is this all one room? Do you think I just... It could be one in? room, but either way, he could go... I don't see a... He can go right into the bedroom, from what yeah. I can see. I think he could go into the bedroom, yeah. All right, so he's standing in the bedroom. He would attack, but he cannot. And then horror will go up by one. Okay. It's fine. I have a distraction. I was prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. We shall begin. My actions? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, nobody was killed. Upkeep... Yep. Uh, what, do we need to do an upkeep, mm -hmm. reveal a finale if no tears? Okay. Uh, yep, back to your actions. Okay. Gonna distract him. Wait, question. Because I know you picked up. Do you want to focus to get your thing down first? That's what I'm doing. This is a better than focus. Oh, it does it too. Oh, cool. Okay. Yes. I see. Since so I... we're on the same page. Oops. Well, I've had I keep... sticky fingers. <laughs> I don't know about sticky. Butter fingers. Butter fingers. Okay, one success. Uh, can you for show sure. me the other one? Oh yes. So one success for sure, and I can trade in two cards. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because okay. I'll go ahead and just trade in my two uh, focuses because mm -hmm. then I shouldn't really need to focus at that point. Yeah, because I mean you'd yeah. be in the. One. So I'll go ahead and get two down, and then increase my time by two. Okay. However, I'm going to keep one of my focuses and get rid of a short rest because I don't need to rest at the moment more than I need to focus. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to sprint and I'm going to save some victims. Saving victims. Saving. Oh, yeah. Three die. Mm hmm. Don't forget that. Oh, oh that was good. Three successes. Okay. Well, I you didn't so even fast. need that extra one. Okay. My time goes down by one. Okay. So I get to move three spaces. So I'm going to go one to save these two people. Mm -hmm. Where do you okay. want to put them? I'll take uh, the horror down by one. And I'll take the move one space. Okay. Okay. And then now, so I think I just, I ended up, I could have moved three spaces, but I'm trying to decide. Do you think I get to keep, keep saving um, people in the interim? Because certainly I had three spaces and I only mm -hmm. moved uh, one so far, correct? Let's just take a second. We'll find out. When moving. Yeah you will actually be able to interrupt your movement or resolve the saving victims at any time you want. So, <clears throat> instead <throat> of getting my move one space okay. for this, I will just go ahead and stay here. Let's finish my sprint first. So, I'd only use one movement so far. So, I'm going to go ahead and use my two other movements to continue saving victims, and then I will do my saving victims all at once because I just have to resolve my saving victims before I play the next action. So question, part. shouldn't they both be there? So you, you drug them with you and they just got dropped off. So they're at the spot, but they haven't been saved because you didn't want to interrupt your thing. Sure. Sure. Okay. So they're staying there. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I have, that was one movement, two movement, three movement. So now four people are standing in the driveway, and I'm like, please, please leave. Mm -hmm. There's people here. Yeah, I, they're crazy. I think that please that go. sounds okay to me. <laughs> all right, so I have saved now these people. So now that I have completed all of my sprints, and that you've moved my time down one, I believe. Uh, so well, I will take the. Oh yeah, I've already moved the time down because you wanted eight. I will take the move one space. Okay. Move one space again, mm -hmm. and I'll go one. One. Okay. Uh, horror will go down by one. Uh, so this is a little unfortunate, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So we're going to just save these people, even though I don't get the benefit of the hearts. I'm okay rushing it. How do you how do you get five people? Because this one was here, and I just used move one, move one. So I walked one. I got the guy in the garage. Oh, you used it just I now with your him, extra moves. Yes. Oh, I asked him okay. To go. So now I've officially unlocked Ava's ability, so mm -hmm. please flip it over. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. And now every time Ava rolls a one, I will be able to re-roll it, which I think could be quite amazing. Yeah. That'll be good. Okay. And you feel comfortable with that, uh, the way that all panned out? Yes. Like that, I read thought, it that was verbatim. illegal. That was illegal. I read move. it verbatim. Let me just allow you to read this to you all mm -hmm. so you can know too. So it said <clears throat> specifically on the victims, saving victims. If at any point during the action phase you're on a green exit space, even if passing through, and any victims that are on that space may be saved, whether you brought them with you or they're already there, if you decide to save them, you will place them on your final girl card on any available victim space used. You take the reward indicated by the icon or the text on that space you just covered up. If an action card is mentioned, take that card. Mm -hmm. you, may cho you may choose the order of timing, when to take the rewards and apply their effects. But all effects must be resolved before another playing another action card. So I deduce that to mean that therefore... I was playing my action card of sprint. I got three movements. I saved a lot of people, which sure. allowed me to only, do more I things. only have one question. What? I, I get what it said. It said, if you have people at that spot or you drug them with you, mm -hmm. but can you pick up and drop off as part of your move? Yeah. Like, is, like, would that interrupt your sprint? Yeah, I was just passing through. Like, that's exactly what they said. Even if I'm just passing through, like, I had even a victim. No, no, no. What it said, through. even if you were passing through and you had people, 
So you had people, mm -hmm. you walked through, but you did across and picked up more people. And I'm wondering if when you picked up more people, if that's a separate move. No. Okay. I'm like I, running I just, around. I just am, to be clear, in case anybody puts that that was the wrong thing, I questioned it. You guys, this is what happened. Here Ava is. Okay. She's here. Mm -hmm. I think she might have been in the laundry room to start. I can't even remember at this point. I'm not even sure. She saw people. She did. She ran with them. She's like, you guys, you got to come. Come and come I out. I know. Come out. There's something. And she was like telling them and she convinced them all to get to the driveway. She kept telling everybody like, meet in the driveway, meet in the driveway. And I corralled all these people and got into the driveway. And then I said, I like this away. theatrical version. Yeah. I'm just making sure it's legal. All right. All right. All right, police. We didn't know we were playing with intruders and the police. That's right. <laughs> but here we are. All right, back to what I was doing. I'm feeling pretty good because okay. I have got yeah, you should things saved. Yeah, he's like he's just jealous. I'm just he's questioning like, it because it was so good. That's legitimate. I did everything I can. Tell I know. I I agree. I'm just I brought I, it up just in case. All right, what we're gonna do. Some more walking. Now. Okay. And hmm. okay, so you can that spend no two one. cards. I will spend the two cards. So to I'll get spend, one star. Yep, and I will spend it for the one star. So but you could lose time if you wanted to. You have more than normal. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just okay. take the. So I'll go ahead and just walk one space. So I think I, let's see. I'm trying to see if I want to go in. Now I have an interesting thing about it. Cause so I've saved enough victims. I've already unlocked my ultimate ability. So now mm -hmm. I'm asking myself, do I go pick up a few items and like try to get buff and then just attack? Yeah. Now that I've like already saved enough to like get to my, my ultimate main goal. ability. I try to get buff. That's my that's my strategy. I feel like I could save a few more victims. Didn't I win the game where I got buff? I mean, I won the game. There was there was some snafus. <laughs> snafus. Yeah, snafus. <laughs> I thought it sounded funnier. Snafus. Snafus. Okay. Which way should I move one? What do that I is want totally to up to you. Oh, I am here to. as support. Well, I, I think I wanted some snares later. I think that'll be handy. So I need to get to the boathouse eventually to get some wood. So I'm just going to go this way. And I'll just try to maybe save the people on the outskirts. And these people might just die. Okay. That's what happens. All right. Are okay. you doing another walk? I think I will save it because okay. in case I'm not super successful. You're good. Can I have the rule book back that had the time thing? Yes. Thanks. That okay. you may, that you may. All right, so you're done playing cards, planning phase. You get to purchase cards. All right, I have seven. Yep. Okay. I think... So I have one walk. I'm going to get a sprint for two. Okay. Or... Nope, or, it's in her hand. It's done. Should I do parkour? So parkour is a special action phase I'm playing with this. I get to move two spaces, skipping over victims Why don't you get or both? killers. You have a lot of money. And I don't well, see that you're going to be attacking I think I'm gonna leave soon. this I'm gonna leave the sprint and taking the parkour instead. Yeah, how much was parkour? Three. So okay. just one extra. Alright, so I have four left. So I think I'm also going to get a search, because I might go to the boathouse, try to maybe get a okay. Thing. Two. So two more, and what's that leave you with? Two. Two. Let's get a guard just in case randomly. And someone, it's two? Yep, someone okay. ends up in my space. All right, so back to six. These are the cards you spent. They'll all go here, right? Mm -hmm. Does the sprint go back? Oh, did I get any from last time? No, there was no. nothing in this okay. spot. Yep. So. Yes. Distraction. Okay. Are you distracted? I, f yeah. <laughs> that was something. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's all. I don't even know what to say about it. Speaking of distractions. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do a plant Let's spotlight. Let's do a plant spotlight, you guys. Plant spotlight. Dun, dun, dun. This is a ficus triangularis. Really? 
Yes. I, you said it really like it seemed as like if you made I it lied up. to you. Yeah. <laughs> like ficus triangularis. I'm like I've never heard that before. Have you been a? Do you have a geometry teacher that your child you, has that you need yeah. to? There you go. Give him a gift. Give him. Ficus triangular. Okay, what do you want to say about this? So the ficus, it's pretty slow growing, mm-hmm. so it can be a little temperamental. Not gonna lie. So people have told me, and actually when I got mine, several leaves just dropped. Like it, it's like mm-hmm. you know, you bring a ficus, you change up its environment, it gets pissed mm-hmm. at you. That's what sure. a ficus does. So, but it survived. But it survived, and so all of this little, uh, you see how the growth's coming in a little bit more yellow. So that's all my new growth okay. that has been coming in. Uh, but yeah, I love it. I think it's super cute. Is it grown a lot or is it always been? No, pretty slow grower. Uh, but however, it's interesting. I would say slow grower, but at the same time, like all of this new growth has popped like up like in a week. It specifically? Well, I think it reminds me of like a little four leaf clover. Hmm. And look at the little heart. Do you not see that it has like yeah, a okay. green heart? That so it it's makes? hard to take care of. It's a little twiggy. and It's not hard, that hard to take care of. You said of. all the leaves were falling off. It's temperament. How much it was it? Like eighteen dollars. Eighteen? Okay, not that much. But I would suggest getting one that's already like big, kind of small. Yeah, but they want to fall the leaves off. Well, this one didn't die. <laughs> Same principle. Yeah. Well, anyways, ficuses are known. However, my ficus tenenki mm-hmm. uh, is similar. Where they say like as soon as you take it home, like it could just like drop all of its leaves on you. Or not all of them, but like it could drop like some of like the lower leaves on you. But mine didn't drop any. But that one was a typical ficus. Did it. you choose ficus triangularis because there's three enemies? And yes. They're... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> they're like trying to triangulate your position. Ficus triangularis. All right. I'm happy about that. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. You're That's welcome. exactly what I was going for. Next. All right. <laughs> okay. So, so I've done, I've gotten You my spent your cards. money. The money went back. Yes. Uh, action cards went to the tableau. Mm-hmm. Killer phase. Resolve a killer action. Draw a terror card. So first off, the killers, so they will target someone. Luckily, they're not with anybody mm-hmm. immediately, so then we'll go to the terror card. Dun, dun, dun. Go away. Each killer in your space or in a space with a victim mm-hmm. takes a hit. Oh, darn. That would have been nice to actually have had them near me. Each killer damaged this way would have attacked back, so that didn't happen. And then we get an event. So another okay. event. This is called Home Security. Keep this card until you use it. It can be activated during any action phase when there are no enemies in the house. When activated, enemies are not allowed to enter the house. When an enemy tries to enter the house, place a token on this card and they don't move. The alarm is disabled when there are three tokens on this card or when you or a victim enter or leave the house. And that, my friends, is home security. <laughs> ADT. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Do we have to put a token out somewhere? Um, so... Activated during it. So... Not allowed to enter the house. I wonder if I put the... I'll read it one more time. Yeah, so where do I put the token? Keep when this I... card until you use it. Okay. So, you have the card the whole time. It can be activated during any action phase. But when there are no enemies in the house. Bagheads in the house. Correct. So you can't use it, but it's still yours. This is your card to use. Okay. And you can use it when Bagheads potentially out of the house mm-hmm. and the other killers aren't, and then they can't get in. It is disabled when there are three tokens on this card, meaning an enemy has tried to enter three times, or when you or a victim enter or leave the house the alarm is disabled. So if everybody's in the house, they can't get in. Every time they try, it gets three warnings before it's disabled. Okay. That one's not so bad. No. Didn't help us currently, but Gotta it could. get him out of the house. Yeah. All, All right. right. Very good. Okay. Uh, draw, you did the tarot card, panic phase. No one was killed, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, upkeep. Nothing. Okay. Back to action phase. Okay, so I think I was going to do parkour. Parkour. And I'm going to go all the way to the... 
I might even go all the way to the shed because do I need the, I think I need the nails. Can you grab the outsider and bring them with you? I need rope and wood. Is that somebody you can drag with yes, you? Yes, it is somebody. But they're like marked for death. So yeah, I could like Yeah, but I mean, it's going to lure everybody, everybody else. out of the house. Hmm. So like if while you were traipsing through the house, if that's the route you chose, you could grab that person, right? And just take them outside. Yeah. Well, currently, though, I'm also worried because if he's going to go through everyone to kill everybody on the way there. So currently, though, like only this guy in the kitchen is really. Oops. No, oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> Done. It's only in the way, you know, so I'm also trying to balance like how many people do I want to be in the way? Okay. So you see what I'm saying? Like if I moved him certain places, he might be, he might put more victims in the path. What if you saved the outsider? Oh, then yeah, he would just be gone. Yeah. He would no longer be marked for death. But he's like really far in there. He's kind of hard to save. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can save the outsider. I have no idea. You can. Okay. Yeah, you can't put it on your thing though, right? Because you have to put victims on the thing. Or am I wrong about that? I think I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to go parkour. All right. Go and parkour. Dun, 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 dun. All right, hey. got one success. Mm -hmm. uh, one success, success. Move up to one space, skipping over spaces with a victim or killer. So you can only move Excellent. one space. Yes. So I'll go, but I can skip over anywhere with victim or killer, so I can get exactly where I need to go. So I'm going into the boathouse. I'm going to spend a time, please. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I didn't understand how that worked. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that takes me a time, one, just to do that. But then two, I'm going to take a time and actually pick up the rope. Okay. Because I want to get... Actually, what You don't I... have to use your search to get the rope? No. Oh, okay. It's, uh, see, it's the iconography on the... Yeah, no, I see the iconography. Yep. So I now have the rope in my backpack. All right. Now that I'm in the boathouse, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and search. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I have one success. I'll just take one. Take, take the spot. top item card at your space. Okay. The blueprint. Discard the blueprint to select a crafted item card from the unused crafted item cards that is now available to craft. Okay, well... Try to say how much I love that, but all right. So I'll just go ahead and discard it now. So the crafted items. From off play. So we now have the nail bat. So I can describe the wooden bat and nails in two time and then get the bat. Actually, I kind of like the bat more than, but now I've got rope. So what are you, what are you doing? It's now part of my crafted items okay. that I can have. All right. Okay, so that is what I got for my search. Did mm -hmm. you decrease I me did by not. a time? And then I will go ahead and do I want to stay in the boathouse and search for more and try to get some more stuff? Or do I want to go ahead and leave? I'm gonna hang I'm gonna hang for just a moment. Okay, so I have two cards. Yeah, only three dollars. Three, three times. I'm trying to say, I feel like I want to attack people. I just feel like I want to. But then I'm like, I she should probably... She gives off that vibe from time to time. <laughs> I should probably get some stuff, though, to be, like, more equipped to attack first before mm -hmm. I do. But I also want to do... So I was like, I was curious because I could discard one card to increase the time by one to give me four, and then I could get a Furious Strike. Okay. So the next time, that way I can move in and just attack somebody. Do that. I want to do it. I'm ready to attack. Okay. So I'm discarding a card. Okay. Okay. So sorry, this will be discarded there to increase my time by one. So now I have four time in which I'm going to pick up this Furious Strike. So I have a guard, a Furious Strike, and I get all my zero action cards. Okay. So you spent four dollars worth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, 
you purchased your action cards. We'll reset that to six. Um, killer phase. Okay, so luckily they're still not in anybody's space. However, now, man, I still haven't had one that moves. It's so crazy. Okay, now get the hell out of my house. Uh, if you were not in the house, I'm not. I'm in the boat house. Is that a house? <laughs> uh, no, I think the house is, you're, the, you have to be the, in that. Yes, yeah. okay. So if you're not in the house, discard and draw the next tarot card. Okay. No, oh, here they are. They're moving now. All right. We're not going to make it through the night. Here we go. Okay. So he will, of course, target, target the marked for death one. He'll move right in there. With movement mm -hmm. of one and attack. Dead. Dead. Blood lust goes up by one. Horror goes up by two. Oh, darn it. Okay. Okay. And then next up, so it's going back to Trish. Trish is the. How do you know? It's going back to Trish. It's going back up. So see how this little thing has a red? Oh, I see. Top? Yep. I just so thought that was the symbol. It's back to Trish. Now Trish will target someone mm -hmm. uh, and then move. So she's going to target the closest victim. So she is in a three-way tie. So you can pick who you want her to kill. Okay. Who would you like her to kill? I'll let you pick. Do you well, it's kill your game. One? I'm just here for support. Yeah, that's what you do. You choose who dies. You're like whispering mm. to Trisha's ear, like, kill that one. She was going to eat your seems sandwich. Seems weird. <laughs> She's going to eat your sandwich? Uh, then let's take her off the grid and have her okay. kill that guy. All right. Or a girl. Okay. So, dead. Kill. Kill. And, and horror goes horror up by goes one. Up. Okay. Okay. That was that. All right. Uh, next, if a victim was killed this turn, panic all victims in the killer space. So no victims are in the killer space. Okay. So no one will panic. And then uh, reveal a card if no tarot cards are left. Rearrange the items. Okay. So I'm going to focus. Try to get my die back. So you're back at action phase. Yep. Okay. Okay, I will trade in my weak attack and short rest to convert that to a success. So to decrease horror by one and decrease the time by one, I will then focus again. Try to do better focusing. Whoops. She's having a hard time. Okay. And have I been rolling any ones? I feel like I haven't been rolling any ones. I haven't seen any. Okay, so I have one success. Uh, so you could decrease the horror. Yes. You're good with that. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. After that, let's go ahead <coughs> and I'm gonna like save some victims on the way to also pick up. So I need to pick up some nails. I mm -hmm. think. No rope and wood. So I just need to go actually here. So I'm going to go ahead and walk. I'll try to get the, the nails. Okay. Or sorry, the wood, not the nails. You got two successes. Okay. So one time you can move two spots. I'm going to go one. And then uh, I'll go ahead and go two. Okay. So the interesting thing I need to know is if I'm allowed to pick up the wood while I'm passing through, you know? Mm-hmm. Because uh, I would like to... Well, let's look that up, and we'll let you know. All right. I have consulted the rule book. Mm -hmm. It told me that I was able to pick one up while I'm in the space for one time. Just to rehash that, Bailey looked in the rule book... It did not tell her exactly, and so <laughs> then she decided that it implied she could pick up the item. No, what I was saying was what it did tell me mm -hmm. was that while It didn't I, not say you couldn't do it. It didn't not say that I couldn't do it. Yeah, that's a lot of negatives, said, so I'm not sure if that came out right, but it, she was told that she it was ambiguous. She doesn't know. The book didn't say she could do it, and since it didn't say it, she's going to do it. That's... Just to clarify, you because you, you're about to say that the book told you you could, and no, she didn't technically read that. 
<laughs> what I was going to say, he he he, is mm-hmm. that <laughs> she's just like leading on me. <laughs> oh, the killer phase. <laughs> Killer's coming out. Okay, so what I was going to say was this is great for lawyers. They're like, oh, there's video footage of it. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I recorded it. <laughs> okay. In the rule book, it says while you're passing through a space uh-huh. that has An one of those things sure. on it, yeah. you can spend one time to pick it up. It okay. does not s- indicate whether it's you're passing through, you're da da da, but I was there for a moment, and so I'm going to okay. say so that you I'm spent allowed. A time? Yes. Did you not reset mine? Am I already spent that low? Well, you I lost the time. You okay, did lots that's of. Fine. All right, I believe you. You've been doing it. I think I had. All right, I believe you. I didn't. I don't. I definitely didn't do it on that one. You figured out. You spent these things. I converted two cards in for this, so that took one time. Mm-hmm. So that'd be five, and then you did the same thing again. Mm-hmm. And that would be four. Mm-hmm. And then you did this one. And that would have been three. And I got two successes. That would have went down by three, so I would have been here. Correct. But then you said you're picking up an item for a time. so you were already there. All right, gotcha. So, yes, I'm picking up the wood. I have this uh, put in the camera selection so I can do things like this. Ready? (laughs) Can you believe that? (laughs) Okay. Ridiculous. Nothing. I'm not doing it. Okay. I have the wood now. She's got the wood now. (laughs) Couldn't beat you up. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I have the rope. Yeah. I have the wood. I'm going to tie him up. Yep. String him to the wood. Leave him out by the curb. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, like, you leave me anywhere. There's three killers walking around. I'm not going to last long tied up. All right. So I have these two things. So uh-huh. rope one at a time. I can't have snares, which I was interested mm-hmm. in having. Okay. So I think let's go ahead and Can you do... build those at any time? Yes. I thought, don't you have to get to these tool sheds? No. No. No, okay. I can craft items at any time. You're just... Well, they have a mechanic symbol on it, so I assume... Crafted items. Crafting allows you to gain an available crafted item card by discarding the item cards and or mm-hmm. supply item cards listed on the craft item card as well as losing the required amount of time. When you gain a crafted item card, either place it in the hand or the backpack slot. When discarding a crafted item card, it goes back into the player area face up available to be crafted again. Okay. And it talks about the uses... So you're going to build it. Did you save these people? I'm going to. Okay. Uh, So yeah, let's go ahead and save these two. So it'll make my horror go down by two, which means once you get to that bottom green, it's actually going to be like, ding, ding. I get a free time. See how you see that? Mm -hmm. Time goes up. Oh. Because it doesn't get to go. Never seen that before. Yep. But ding, ding, as she says. Time ding, 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 ding. It's ding, like a ding. pinball machine. You know, like ding, things ding. light up and then you get time. Okay. That's how things work. Okay. All right. I'm so going to spend... You're going to spend them and you're a building a snare. Yes, I'm going to build a snare. Okay. So the rope and wood go back. I would like the snare. Thank you. You're welcome. So it comes out with three uses. And again, it says I may place a snare token on my space mm-hmm. uh, once during the action phase. And if an enemy enters that space, then I can discard the token. Mm-hmm. And then they will no longer move until the end of the turn. Okay. So I'm going to like not put it out here. Obviously, i got to like get back in. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, so I fear striking a guard, so I'm going to hang out with those. So I'm going to spend my $2.00. So I think I need to probably, I guess, I'm going to have a walk. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll go ahead and take a sprint to get in sooner. 
Or do I want to search and go search for something? I don't have that good of weapons necessarily yet. Like, it'd be kind of nice, like, since there's three intruders, like, I'm tempted. I mean, I guess I could craft some more stuff. So there's the, the nail bat. I could just probably work on crafting that. So I just need to get some... Oh, but in order to craft the nail bat, I actually need the wooden bat, which I don't have that right now. So it's problematic. I would have to go look for it first. Mm. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take a sprint in this regard. Sprint for your strike, and I get my walk back. Okay, and everything else returns to the action tableau of cards. Okay, you purchase your stuff. Yep. Um, reset the six. Resolve a killer action. Okay, the killers are luckily not in a space with anybody, so we'll go to the terror card. Okay. Why are they doing this to us? If there are no victims on the board, there are. So the terror card's going to go now to the next one, so go all the way down to Zeke. And then he is going to target a victim. So Zeke will move. So he'll move two towards the closest victim, and he will attack. Closest victim, I would say, is in the kitchen. Or is it here? They're both one. Oh, it's easier. yeah, either one. Kitchen or the Both up or the lakefront. I'll let you choose. Well, do you want them in the house or no? I'll let you choose. What is... The... This is your game. What would Zeke... I don't want to be responsible what for... What would Zeke want to do? He was... I would take him to the lakefront if okay. it was me. Okay. Because I think you need to try to kill him. Okay. So single him out. I like yeah. that. Like lure him. Bloodlust went up. I moved it. Okay, thank you. And then uh, horror goes up by one. That's fine. I still am in my three die. Okay. All right. Let's go kill Zeke. I like that. I like that idea. I thought it was a decent... Plus, it keeps him out of the house, which gives you mm -hmm. a chance to use home security at some point. Yes. If we can get... Um, if we can get... Baghead. So, uh, a victim was killed, and there's nobody in a space, so nothing to that. Uh, we did reveal a terror card, so we're back to action phase. All right. Here. These are the ones you spent last time? Yes. So here I go. I am going to sprint over into okay. Zeke's face, and then I'm going to try to punch him. You know? Punch him? Just right in the face. Yep. I have very sticky fingers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when she leans over, like, I kind of want to just give a push. <laughs> like, it's like, so close. I'm sorry you did. Okay, okay, I get a reroll of one, which is nice. I already got yeah. two successes. Uh, so do you, you don't need to reroll. So it probably doesn't. Yeah, matter, it definitely doesn't. But I got a one in my She sure did. So you'll go one. down one time, and you get to move three spaces. Okay. So your plan was to attack that person. Yes, coming in hot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here I am. Furious strike. Okay. <clears throat> yes, with my chisel. Okay. So fear strike with chisel. So it'll add an extra damage. Says roll one die after each use. On a one to four, discard the chisel. Okay, I get to reroll the one. Yes. Okay, so you got two successes, which is going to bring your horror down. Mm-hmm. And then... Hit him for three. Hit him... What? How? Why? Explain one, it to me so I understand. One, two, three. So, I, so with my chisel, you're just using that little uh, yellow yep. symbol. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Zeke lost three hearts. Da, da, da. Is that what you're saying? Yes, okay. he did. <clears throat> so now I have to see if I my chisel like stuck in his neck or like if I can get it back. Okay. <laughs> oh my lanta. <laughs> Okay. Does that wait? Do I get to re-roll it? Cause no. Run, roll one die after each use on a one through four. Well. No, I know, but I'm special. Is this a horror roll or is this a chisel roll? Oh, well, I don't know. I kind of feel like you did a horror roll. Okay, that's and fine. that's a chisel roll. Fine. Okay, so I lost my chisel. It's fine. It's in his neck. Whatever. Well, you, we can look this up. No. I just, Three damage. I'll take it. I'm pretty sure that I'm fine with you that. lost it. I'm fine with that. 
Okay, so I don't have any more attacks I can do them. I have a guard sitting over here. I have five times. So I think let's get me a retal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, let's go. Let's discard the walk for one time. Mm -hmm. We get the critical blow. So we're going to take him out next let time. Let me you guys... double check things. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you sprinted. Fury Strike took no time. You discarded a walk to go back up. Mm -hmm. And what do you want to do now? I bought the Fury Critical Blow. So I have a guard to protect myself. Oh, it's six? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that was all your stuff. Yep. Now we're back to six. Um, did you grab your cards? And Furious Strike. And a Sprint. Okay. Uh, now we're on to Killer Phase. Okay. So he is in my space. So he will attack me Kay. right off the bat. Okay. So I only have one guard. That's mm -hmm. the only downside. But Ooh, he's only going to do one attack. How do you know I what could his I guess damages. I could take it. So he is only at a damage of one right now. Okay. So that's where I was like, do I just take it for now? Mm, you don't have that much health, though. You're only a thing of five. Yeah, but... And you have a guard. Why not just guard and the... see if you can... I'll take the one for now. And I'll tell you why. This is a pivotal moment. I'll take the one health for now. Okay. <laughs> this is a pivotal moment. Okay, so you want to yes. die. Okay. I don't want to die. Yeah, you have one. Okay, the terror card, it's their turn. <laughs> now he hits by four. Yeah, that's what oh, I was like. I could see that he was maybe going to go up. So horror goes up by one. Okay. I okay, just... if there are no victims on the board, there are. Okay, the killer went down. Moved it already. So back to Trish. She will target a victim. She's going to move. She has a movement of two. So she will go towards the nearest victim, movement of two. So the nearest victim would be... Is you. Are no, you not a victim? I'm not a victim. Okay. Yep. And then she'll attack. Okay. The one in the kitchen was never going to survive. Okay. And up again. All right, that was all from the terror. So panic phase, people die, but no one is left in the their spaces. So back up to my my action phase. Okay. All right. Then a critical wait. I'm gonna focus first, <laughs> so I can try to focus. get more focus. Focus, focus. Okay. But didn't you have a one thing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So two successes. And that will allow you to take the horror down by yep. one and get two time. Nice. All right. Now I'm going to critical blow him. Dun, 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 okay. I get a reroll one. It's nice. Yes. Ah! <laughs> was so it, oh, the other one was a two. Okay. okay. So I get a hit him by three. Okay. So there's the two. Okay, so flip. Oh, over. sorry, it's not him. Does, oh, 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 yeah, you are attacking. Yeah, him. Yeah, I am okay. attacking him. Does he die? He dies. Woo! Zeke is gone. So Zeke died. Dun, 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 dun. So we can get rid of him dun, 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 and dun, dun, dun. move him to the dead Taking pile. Taking people out. Do you guys see Ava? She's got a. Uh, is it Ava? Oh yeah, it is Ava. Yes, I can't get it to focus, but she has like a bat and also a. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it for you. A shield, so she can get a porcupine shield and a nail bat. Is her her main upgrades you can get for her. Currently, we're just running around. We got a snare. We haven't even used it yet. Okay. You know, we've taken one out. We've saved a lot. You of sure people. did, and you still have cards. Well, so what do you want to do? Cards. Ah, oh, this is exciting. Do you see how it is to play and win? Oh, well, you haven't won, so I, <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, but do good, yeah. like, roll some good rolls. Okay, what shall, where shall I go? Uh, go kill some I'm more feeling, people. Yeah, I'm feeling bloodthirsty at this point. So let's go ahead and just walk. Oh, let's see. Let's think about this for a minute. So I can obviously keep... If I walked and tried to save, 
Let's spend the time and put out a snare, maybe. So, like, leave a snare where it just ends their turn. So maybe I want to, like, walk in, leave a snare that they're going to, like... Oh, but also home security. So I want to get them out of the house. But currently, they're definitely going to be focused in the house because everybody's in there. Okay, so let's walk and let's just try to get the people out of the house because they're currently messing up my home security. Girls. <laughs> Yeah, because they basically, it would kill their movement each time. Like, I could hide in the house and just set up the security trap, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, don't you think that'd be worthwhile? Well, or do I, just, be something. do I just keep attacking them because I'm just excited? I don't know. Analysis paralysis, for sure. <laughs> okay, we're walking. Okay. We're walking. So you could spend four well. cars... Yes. Or one. Okay. Sure. Okay. Whatever. So I'll go ahead and move one space. Let's go back over here. Is there any good things that I want to craft over there? That would be interesting for something? I mean, the nail bat was the main thing I was interested in. Because I also don't have the trash can lid. Mm-hmm. Uh... I could make the obliterator though, for sure. If I just wanted to get it. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and walk again. Okay. My person does not want to walk. Very much. Okay, so what are you doing? Let's just lose the... Yeah, I guess we'll just lose the two time. I wouldn't have walked at all. I would have just kept the card. Yeah, I know, but I... Because, like, where are you going? You don't well, even know what they're doing. Well, I know, but, I mean, i got to get there at some point, so I no sense in being all the way out there is the reason that I was doing that. But I'll keep these. Hmm. All right, so what do I have to spend? Five dollars? Uh, yes. Okay, I want a... Four and so I have any movement though this time. So the furious strike okay is not gonna help. Good. You me can't afford much. anything else except for this close call. Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to decide if I wanted the furious strike because of the fact that I can't move. Like, if I should actually just, like, sprint to get back in there, you know, for the sake of time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You don't They'll know what the tarot card. Yeah, that's They'll what I was thinking. Okay. Okay, there's your five. Back up to six. All these move over. Killer phase. All right, so they're not in anybody's space. Otherwise, they would have attacked okay. immediately. So, tarot card. card. So, we only have two more, and then they're going to enter into the finale. What happened while we were gone? Place three new victims at the boathouse. Oh. Okay. I just saved people and was like minimizing blood bust and now they've just like showed up out of nowhere. What did you do? You got rid of your short rest without actually resting? Yeah. I did. Yeah, isn't that annoying? It was annoying. Yeah, Loon's like licking a ball. Like repeatedly. It's like the most annoying sound. It is. It kind of like discredits on you until yeah. you want to like call your own ears out. I'd like to tell them to leave, but they're almost worse when they're not in here. So <laughs> so here we are. Okay, they're at the boathouse. Now we have another victim. Or hey. not a victim, an event. Loser boyfriend. The victim furthest from you is your boyfriend. So that one, yep. And who has been secretly helping the killer? The boyfriend cannot be targeted or killed by enemies, but you may attack and kill him. <laughs> if you kill the boyfriend, you get three horror down and do not increase bloodlust. Nice. I mean, kind of nice. We don't need to run across the thing to kill him, but it's an option. But. Okay. You know. Ready? Yeah, it's good. So that was the killer phase. Mm -hmm. And uh, did they kill anybody in their rooms that would panic? Nope. Nope. 
uh, upkeep and back to action. So the unfortunate thing is I can't really do much for the actions because I can't actually move. So the only thing I'm going to play is a focus and that's all. Okay. My rolls have taken a turn for the worse. <laughs> okay, I don't think I don't need to focus that bad. So I'll just take the loss of two time. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, so I have four time in order to get something. So I have one, two, three. I'm going to get these six cards, right? Or mm -hmm. five cards. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I believe you six, can't seven, have eight. over. You can't ten. have over ten. So I have four to buy. Four to buy. Up to two. So I have a couple of walks already. So therefore, I think I could go ahead and maybe just hold a retaliate that way because soon I'm going to be in their space near sure. them where they're going to start attacking. Okay. Okay. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Killer phase. They're not going to kill anybody because they're not moving. Yeah. Okay, they're everywhere. All right, they will tag target. So who is the killer that's in charge right now? Trish. Trish is in charge. Okay. She will move. Mm -hmm. Move uh, in two and she'll kill. Yep. So the family room. Uh oh, dark okay. power. So flip the dark power before we go on. Where is that? Oh, this is it. Mm -hmm. How do you decide? Which you can one? show the people at home. Mascophobia. Mascophobia. Once per turn, when a killer moves into your space, oh, no. uh, gain a horror. You may not purchase focus while a killer is in your space. It's a weird line. Because you never really purchase it. I guess you can't just like pick it up into your hand if they're in there, I guess. Maybe they're saying you can't utilize it. Yeah, I can't use it. Okay. That's true. Okay, so the killer is going to go up. So it'll go past Zeke, I guess, to Baghead again. So he will target me. Okay. He will move two towards me. Baghead. Ah, uh, Baghead. Probably one, two. Okay. And then uh, the killer will move again. So back to Trish. No, change the killer. Oh, okay. I see. What I thought you were saying that, that killer yeah. moves again. Uh, she will target a victim and she'll move towards it. And too. she can move too. Yep. Mm, yeah, that seems to be it. Okay. All right, so she didn't kill them. We only have one more and then they're going to be in their finale. So stuff's about ready to go. So you should go kill back down. Again. Baghead, that's the one you want me to take out. Uh, wait, well, I don't know that you can get to Trish super yeah. quick. No. Okay. Well, All right. Let's, uh, let's back to it. action phase. Go walk you guys, <laughs> my rolls have taken a dramatic tumble. Okay. There's one. How much do I need to lock? Uh, you can I need move to a go space. two spaces. So I'll go ahead and discard a weak attack and a focus. Okay, for my two spaces. Did you decrease my time by one? I didn't know. And then I'm in with Baghead and I will do a furious strike. Okay. So you're going to hit him by two. Mm -hmm. Use this one. So you hit him by two and the horror goes down. Nice. Love it. Ooh, how I love it. Okay, so I have some retaliates and some guards ready for him. So I have a walk and a short rest. I guess I'll do the short rest to try to get my health, health back. In case you get attacked by two people. Okay, so I have one success. So, so I'll take that. And then I will hold these cards. So that leaves me with four. So let's mm -hmm. actually do we're gonna I'm gonna discard two of these to increase two time and I'm gonna get my critical blow. Okay. Alright, and these I get the focus. Okay, that was the end of your phase. Yep. Back to six. Okay, killer phase. Okay. 
They won't do anything. Mm -hmm. It'll the last tarot card, so they're going to go into the finale this time. Ooh, where are they coming from? Okay. So they will target me. Okay. Or the final girl. Who is the active killer? Trish? Mm -hmm. Trish. So she will do double movement. Meaning she can go four? So she can go four. One, two, three. She's already in your room. Okay. And then she will attack. Okay. And then the killer is going to go to another thing. So I'm going to go ahead and retaliate against Trish. Okay. What is the reduce the attack by two? I'll just take that one. That okay. was one success. So you just did one success. <laughs> well, how much does she hit by? Hit by one for her. So. No, no, sorry. She hits for two. Reduce my attack by two, and then I hit her back for one. So she gets one hit. So I have successfully ignored the hits mm -hmm. from Trish with my retaliate. She got one damage. Now uh, we are to the if there are no victims on the board, ignore the rest of this card. Otherwise, uh, place the active killer with the furthest victim. So therefore, the active killer is... In it is currently Baghead. Okay. Or is it still Trish? No. No, it just switched at yeah. the end. I see. Okay. So Baghead will go to the furthest victim, and then he will attack it. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So unfortunately, that means at the end of this, we actually have upkeep. We do? Yes, because we'll have to reveal the finale. Dun, dun. Will I be able Okay, to yeah, make no it? panic phase and then upkeep phase. Yep. Will I be able to make it? So I gotta flip this last one? Yes. I was reading that make sure we followed the rules for the other one. Release the beast. All killers are considered active for the rest of the game. Perform the killer actions starting with the topmost killers. So now all killers are active. We can get rid of that token. And release the beast. Mm. Darn. So they'll both get a phase. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, you want your cards? So, well, I already have mine right now. So it's my turn. So I will do a critical blow for whoa, whoa, whoa. Trish. What about that was from cards? last time. We were in the... No, because this is the... I played a retaliate on the killer phase. Okay, will it go into here? No. Nope. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, you just wait. All right. Play your action cards. Critical blow. Mm -hmm. Trish. Like I was saying. <laughs> okay. That was one. Do I want to spend cards or not? For the one extra. I don't think so. I don't think so. So either. I will hold my cards and Trish gets give hit her for two. two. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that takes me no and time. And you decrease the horror so, so I get, you to get go it up time. by time. Yep. And then it takes me uh, so You're I have done. seven time to spend. I don't do you get to spend it? It just says your turn's over. Yeah, I still get planning. Action phase immediately ends. So no. now you're in the planning phase. Yes, so I have seven time spent. Okay. Okay. So spend your time. <laughs> okay, I will buy area mm -hmm. strike for four. I will buy a another guard for two. And okay. a close call for one. And then I get nine of these. So, so that one, was two, a three, four, four, a two, five. and a one? Yep. Okay. So that was all seven. Back to six. And exactly ten cards. Killer phase. So now the killers will target you. Oh, it says I cannot purchase a focus, I guess. So I won't pick it up. I don't really, I don't understand the dark power that well when it says you can't purchase a focus. But I just won't pick it up, I guess. Uh, I think you... Oh, you may not purchase a killer while a killer is in your space. Yeah, and since Trish is in there. So, and I guess this one I already had in my hand, though. I already had the one focus in my hand. So okay. that one I'm allowing me to keep, but 
if a killer is in my hand, I cannot pick up a focus. Okay. Apparently, due to my dark power, my maskophobia that I've been working through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, my turn. Uh, is it my turn? Did you have them attack you? Or is it I, the it's the killer phase. phase. The killer phase? Yeah. Okay. So right, you, attacked, you attacked her on your phase yes. and took two damage to her. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, so, yeah. Now every killer will then move, move and, and attack, attack you, so, starting with the topmost. Yes. She's the topmost. So, Trish, so I'm going to go ahead and use a guard. Okay. Did you, can you return those to the action tableau, please? So one success. Mm -hmm. So I, reduce that by two. Okay, and so she currently hits by three. Okay. No, she hits by two. She has a movement of three. Oh, okay. So, that's so you blocked her. Ignored Good. all. Yep. Okay. So the next one then, Zeke. He Not Zeke, Baghead. Baghead will move. He has a movement of three. So okay. he will go. Um, he gets into the room. Yep. Let's see. One, one. two. So he'll actually Why go closest. Why is he going to them? Closest with the mostest. Okay. So he is in there, mm -hmm. and then unfortunately he will attack and kill. kill. So yeah, it's really annoying actually that he found himself in the boathouse because he's killing people that are mm -hmm. rather annoying. Okay. All right. I haven't I used think. my snare at all. Um, if the victim was killed this turn, panic all victims in the killer's space. Yes. So go ahead and panic them. So a one. So mm -hmm. three through six. So that will stay. And a two. They'll three both through... stay with them, those idiots. They panicked and didn't leave. They're like, <sighs> yeah. they're like hiding in the boat. Mm -hmm. in the that boat. was not the best method. <laughs> Okay, uh, upkeep phase, there's no card, so, yep, we're good. Action okay. phase. All right, let's kill Trish. Okay. Furious Strike. Furious Strike. Two mm. successes, so you're going to hit her by two. Dun, dun, dun. And uh, this will go down, so your time will go up. Okay. So, therefore... Did she? Oh, wait, I still have one more in here, Brian. That was only two. Mm hmm. Girls. The girls are very angry. Okay, well, I guess. I mean, I might. I'm going to do a weak attack then, because she means she's yeah, almost dead. That's the so. best bet. Yep. Oops. Hmm, that was not great. But I will trade in. Why don't you just use your close call? Well, I could, but I'll just trade it and make it a success. So I'll do the two, and then um, I will turn it into one success. Okay. And so I will lose a heart, but that's okay. I don't know if I would have done that, but okay. It's fine. Um, I'll take it. That it does it kill and her? And she died. <gasps> All right, <laughs> one more. Baghead and me. Mm -hmm. Just me and Baghead. Just you and Baghead. Okay. Therefore, I need to walk over into Baghead's space. You haven't used your snare at all, so if you got down a, here, you could put a snare. snare. Yeah, so that he has to... Walk to you. Like, I don't know that you can save the victims, for sure. If it enters a space with a snare, then they'll have to... I mean, if you did two walks and succeed on both, I guess you could walk in, grab the victims, yeah, and Yeah, take them out, out, and then set a snare. Yeah, let's try to do that. I don't know about then set up there, but okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's walk. I'm doing a lot of things. You know, I've just killed Trish. I'm high we'll off see. life. If right one now. of these walks doesn't get full success, I think it's already thwarted that plan. Okay, there's that plan thwarted. <laughs> okay, well. So, yes. are you losing two time? Uh, no. I'll make it worth one. I'll trade in two. Okay. To do the one walk, one space. I'll get a little closer. Okay. 
So how much time do I have to spend? That takes me down the time. Mm -hmm. I, I already did it. Is okay. that seven? So I have six time to spend. So one, two, three. So I go ahead and just get the critical blow and I have a guard ready. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. And it'll go back to six. Well, let's go and resolve the killer phase. So the killers are active. He's going to kill one of these guys. Mm -hmm. No getting away from that. Oh, my die. And then two horror are gained. Okay. Um, yeah. So my turn. So unfortunately, I guess this is the part that I didn't, I didn't anticipate. So I, I purchased the critical blow, but I didn't get myself anything to get in his space. So that was a little bit of a misstep on my part. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, okay, let's have the people panic. Mm, yes. Yeah, you just gotta roll. Yep. Six. And they actually leave. They leave. Congratulations. You did it. It'd be a perfect time to have been able to put I a snare. I didn't put a snare out, but I didn't. Okay. So, dun, 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 dun. come back to my turn, and I can't move anywhere, so I'm gonna focus to try to get my... Can you return those to the, are those everywhere they go? I, okay. I doubt it. <laughs> it's like, you gotta put them in my action tableau so I can purchase them. It's so close to the end of the game, I really don't think that would make a difference, but now, now we've done it. <laughs> I'm gonna focus. Okay. Don't mess with my feng shui. Mm -hmm. She got a success and two cards. So I'll take it. You want to do the success yep. of one? So that will give you that, and your time will go down. All right. Now I will just spend for my five. So I'm going to get all of these. So I'm going to be able to walk. So I'm not really worried about that. So I have five to spend. Don't you want to retaliate? I feel like you do. He's coming for you like pretty quick. I feel like he's going to go for the other person, though, first. So I think I'm going to take a furious strike instead. Why? For four and a close call. Oh, to get more cards. But then once mm -hmm. you... How many cards do you have? One, Six, two, three, ten. four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. They had ten. All right. So, killer pays. You spent your money. All right. So he will move. He will kill... Went to the very top. The tippy top. My evil ex boyfriend, loser boyfriend. He hadn't done still nothing. Still exists. I know. I should like run over there and kill him just like for fun. So uh, I forget what you get. <laughs> you get something. I get three horror down if you kill your ex boyfriend. You can also use home security if you get in the house. I could use home security now. Yeah. Why? There's nobody in the house. I know, but I'm not in there, but like it gets at the alarm. <laughs> Once I get in there, I'm like, it's ready. Wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here I go. Is it my turn? Is it my? Am I ready for my? Yeah, turn? I I think so. He just went in there and killed that guy. So yeah, there's no one to panic. Okay, walking in to the killer space. Gonna do a fear strike once I get there. Wait, did you want to put a snare down before you left? No. Okay. Not at the moment. All right. So I rolled two ones. So I got to reroll them. Um, do I get a reroll like infinitely? You may reroll all one result. Yeah. I love this. I want to be Ava all the time. Okay. Two successes. Okay. So I can move into his base, no problem. Okay. Take me down a time. Gotcha. Now I'm going to critical blow. One success, a two, and a three. Are you going to do a close call or something? So I will spend two. Oops. I will use my short weak attack and a close call to convert to a success. Okay. So three. Horror will go down by one. 
no, no. Uh, yeah. And then I have a furious strike. Can we do them in? No. Not with that. Oh my Lol word. Twos. What a wasted card. What a wasted card. Okay, so card. The, you lose a heart. Ugh. Gain a heart. Unless you're somehow going to do something. Mm, there, can't. Was... You should have kept that close call, shouldn't you? You're going to lose a heart. Gain a horror, and that ends your turn. That was unfortunate. Okay, well, I have five, so I'll pick up the retaliate. Okay. And the close call, so that was five, four and five. Oh, okay. Okay. And Jeez. that all goes back. Killer phase, he's going to attack you. Uh, and you can't get a focus. Okay. Uh, All right. Then, so actually, I will on, retaliate. I He's gonna attack me. Uh, I think we need to take the horror up one because he walked into your space. I'm not even sure you're supposed to roll three die. Yeah, I was. I just barely got to Once that. Once when they move into your space, you gain a horror. He hasn't moved. I moved into his space. Okay, that's fair then. That is what happened. I like came at him. I was like, mm -hmm. ready to go? And then you said, <laughs> spent all her close calls. And... Okay, I'm going to retaliate against him. He's like, I'm going to hit He's you. He's going to hit you for three, otherwise. Candy cane club. Mm -hmm. I doubt it's made of candy canes, but. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're going to ignore all attacks and hit him for two. And you killed him. I did it. I did you it. did it. I did it. As you can see, they were fighting, and I'm gonna we'll reenact this. <laughs> These two were going at it with a candy cane. He and tried to club me, and, and all of a sudden they were like, "Shield, no, shield, you can't get me!" And, like, oh. him back and then when he turned around. She was like, "With the club." No, I actually thought. Actually, how many attacks did you? Two attacks. <laughs> I actually. And down thought... he went. No, no. I think that the way the way it went down was that his his club actually ends up hitting him, and it knocks the bag right off his head, and then he and just we saw his face, and it was the character from Goonies, the sloth. Rocky Road. Okay, so you you actually won. I, I won. Um, I mean that. I've that was winning. going pretty well, honestly. I've been winning, so this is the thing. It was like I had to show it on mm -hmm. the stream because I keep winning, and then I bring Wyatt here to play, and then he. I lose or cheat. May or may not. That's what win. I found out. Is <laughs> I either don't play the game right or I lose. Well, I also might not, but not intentionally. I I do intend on playing. Yeah, the she's game like right I couldn't find that rule, so thus, my version of how this should be played is okay. Yeah, very funny. So, what did you think of this scenario? Uh, I thought this one was better. Uh, you had some really optimal roles. It's a shame we didn't get to use home security or something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, that would have been interesting. The losing boyfriend even, was a little odd. I didn't even use my snare either. But I thought overall um, this one was pretty nice because, I mean, now that we've gone through all... Are these... Are they different tarot cards for every? Yes. Okay. So, because like they really don't move a whole lot, honestly. You, uh, with the ones we had shuffled in. So actually, so if you oh, there's some at, other ones. Yeah. So you, the way it works is so you would pick Winger Cartage, and then you also pick your your villain, and then you shuffle all their cards together, and you uh, make a deck of ten I for see. the tarot card. Um. Deck. Yeah, I thought this was a pretty fun one, uh, where it's like it seemed realistic to the theme. Um, you know, the people weren't like super fast. I will say, if you read the, the write up, it, I could have used a little bit of distinction in the uh, villains because there's a huge write up that I like abridged version that you got from me. There's a huge write up, and it kind of talks about like the one guy is like so strong, like people were already hitting him with bats, and he like he doesn't even care, like he like. He's just a, a massive, massive individual, like uh, the ogre from Game of Thrones. Like, 
he shouldn't be able to like maybe like his a, health should have been high. I see what you mean. Like yeah, down to like six, six, they were all yeah, they were all yeah, sixes. Like and I'm kind of like is maybe nine. Uh, yeah, and or Trish like is Trish like should have been like more cunning. Four, and but like, like the mental brain behind. Yeah, there should have been, yeah. and maybe they do that with the minor dark powers. I'm not sure. You know, we we didn't encounter like a whole lot of that. Were we supposed to? No, you only get one per turn. But I doubt that's... No, that's not going to okay. change the victim. Yeah, then thing. I thought yeah. uh, for having three killer. people... Because you remember when we played that one level with also, me? What was our all hearts? three were like... Oh, we're, we were nothing. Had yet. special that's moves. Good. You know, like all three of my alien ones mm-hmm. on... They all had special moves. And I think maybe because they gave such a lengthy description of these individuals, they too could have had characteristics equatable to their descriptions. So there very well probably is potentially Or you could have even terror. said, like, maybe the big guy doesn't have, like, a ton of life, but, like, if he hits you once, it's, like, worth three. You're done. Yeah, like, Just... don't get whacked by the... Like, he's not... Like, maybe he has a percentage base. I don't know. Uh, Zeke. I mean, we killed Zeke so early, he didn't get a chance to really do anything. So there's amphetamines, which at the beginning of the killer phase, the killer with the lowest health recovers health. Mm-hmm. As far because like you you were referring to <coughs> you were referring to the organism one. So for instance, on that one, they have uh, there's like tiny and fast and something. Anyways, yeah. so we made like the fast one have like extra legs, like and that was Bailey's the, idea. I didn't I didn't agree with it. And the tough one got yeah. like extra skin. Extra. She made everybody super powered on top of their superpower because I that's the way it she seemed, thought would be beneficial. Um, it seemed the most did epic. not sound beneficial, but I was in a losing battle. In a time. coordinated attack. So there are there are no. You're correct. Like yeah. I guess I, I could have used a little bit more. of uh, character differentiation where they came at you in a different manner because. Because that's it, not that it matters ultimately. Like it's it was still fun. I just thought it, there's a lengthy write up, and this probably helps though as far as uh, if you were to stagger them with like maybe this guy has nine and the other one, mm-hmm. uh, let's say just by by virtue of like where they're at, like yeah. standing next to you, it sure. could be like more advantageous than not. You're like, I guess oh, the- I lost because like of course the guy with nine came and beat me up. But if I would have been positioned by the three, I might have been like, you know. Yeah. You know what would be interesting? Van Ryder, right? That's who makes this? Mm-hmm. All right, Van Ryder, if you watch this, I have an idea for you. And I think it's a good one. <laughs> what if, because I'm sure this is a mechanic already out there, the big guy, he does hit by like four or three. But in order to hit by four or three, you have to roll six dice and he has to get like a percentage above. Like if he doesn't get 50% of the dice to be like stars, then he doesn't get to do his attack at all. But like if he ever attacks you, it's worth a lot. Yeah, you're like ultimate dying, which also I didn't use that. I wasn't I wasn't feeling up against the thing. To yeah, no, I mean like you roll your, like yeah, can yeah. he even hit you? He has to get above a 50%, but you're like, holy cow, I hope he doesn't hit me because like, I'm at the ropes, and if he, like, like what I'm adding into it is, like, he's big and clumsy. So he swings and he misses. So I'm just putting a statistical factor with yeah. that. That would be a fun to this particular one. Yeah. I'm sure you already thought of that, Van Ryder, but yeah, if you well, hadn't, <laughs> yeah. that's my idea. I would say sometimes it's, like, anytime you add something that could be more thematic, it also could be <clears> more, <throat> like, that's one extra rule that you had to read, right? You know, just to, like... It's just one character. It's one rule for yeah. one character. That's my take. I like the game. Would have liked the characters to have a little spin. A little spin. A little spin. What, was... your, did you want to give your thoughts? Oh, yeah. Well, it's Final Girl and I love Final Girl. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. That was... Okay. Somebody's not a critic here. Okay. I know. Fangirl moment. I do. I love Final Girl so much. Which also... I heard. And I don't know how I missed this. Mm-hmm. In the Kickstarter, like, read up. But... They have on season three where they say Saw is going to be one of the boxes. Oh, like the the TV or yeah. the movie series that you know how excited I am for that. Yeah, with that the little sucks. guy on the bicycle yeah. and he's got and the, the little swirly cheeks. cheeks. Oh, I'm so excited. I remember that as a kid. Didn't love it as a kid. As a kid, <laughs> this is creepy. Yeah, I loved it. I have mm. them on DVD. And that's that's what we're working <laughs> with here. In my closet, because who gets out their DVDs nowadays? Let that's us know true. in the comments. Do you still get your DVDs out? 
We get out we a few like Christmas ones. We have like Why Him, Christmas Vacation, that kind of thing. I get out like uh, classic Studio Ghibli, <laughs> like yeah. uh, Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, yeah. My Neighbor Totoro, Summer Wars. The Boy and the Beast. Well, Summer Wars yeah. isn't Studio Ghibli. I should clarify that. The Boy and the Beast. I do like The Boy and the Beast. I bought that one. It is nice to have it on DVD because nowadays Amazon or uh, YouTube... Is that algorithmic? YouTube <laughs> makes me pay for movies that I'm like, I already own. And I'm almost that lazy where I'm like, do we have a DVD player? Luckily, we have a PlayStation. And then I have to go find the DVD. And then the DVD's not in the case. Anyway. For sure problems. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's definitely a <laughs> problem. Okay, well, with that, um, I enjoyed yeah. this game. I think Bailey enjoyed this game. She won. She destroyed all the villains at Wingard Cottage and uh, the intruders. And do you want to finish it off? I clubbed him on the head. She clubbed him on the head. She sure did. Yeah. Tried to club me and I'm like, I'll club you. Yeah. How about that? (laughs) Stick that in your club and smoke it. (laughs) Whatever they say. (laughs) I think they say stick that in your pipe and smoke it. They did, but he didn't have a pipe. Yeah, that's right. He had a club, so he stuck it in his (laughs) club and smoked it. I was going with what I was working with, everyone. Yeah. Also, this is Body and Board. Check out our sign. Yeah, we brought it down here because we haven't been using the upstairs studio as much because this is my nicest computer I built. Yeah. Yeah. So, we have a sign now. This is Body and Board. I am Bailey. I am Wyatt. And we thank you so much for hanging out. Leave us a comment, please, down below. Let us know how it's going. If you're also playing Final Girl, are you winning? Are you losing? What are your favorite kind of mix-ups? Uh, yeah. Chat with us. Let us know. Or just what solo games uh, you're hitting up or any games that you're playing. We would be very happy to find out. So thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time. All right. See ya.